everyone, I'm Erin, Lead Customer Success Specialist with Hypothesis, and today we're going to talk about how to add a Hypothesis-enabled reading to your Canvas course and assign that reading to small groups within the course. Now just a quick review for those of you who maybe are coming back to us after a while or forgot, Hypothesis is a social annotation tool. It allows you and your students to annotate a text that you might give to them through Canvas together. It's possible when you assign a hypothesis enabled reading, you want to divide students into small groups to annotate the text just in that small group. You might wanna do small groups of four. You might wanna even do small groups of two where two students maybe interact very closely around a text. You could split the class in half and maybe one half of the class it annotates together and the other half annotates together. Let's kind of dive in and I'll show you how to do this with Hypothesis within Canvas. The first thing you have to do when you're in your Canvas course is make sure that you have set up your small groups. The way that you do that is you navigate over to the People tab on the left side when you're in your course. And you're gonna go ahead and make sure you choose the Groups tab. You can add a new group set here so I'm just gonna create a new group set. I'm gonna call this um, demo groups. I'm going to split my students into groups of three. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Give it a minute while it creates my groups and divides the students out appropriately. And now my groups have been created. Now that I've got these groups created, I can create my hypothesis enabled reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over to assignments. I'm going to add a new assignment. And we're gonna go meta here and I'm gonna call this annotation. I'm of course going to put detailed instructions here in this box so my students know exactly what to do and so they do a good job at it. I'm gonna make sure I give it the correct amount of points. And then I'm going to choose external tool as my submission type. I'm going to find, choose hypothesis on that list. In this case, I've stored my PDF in Canvas, so I'm gonna grab my PDF from Canvas. And here is the important piece. This is where I get to choose whether this was a group assignment or not. Now, because I'm demonstrating how to use Hypothesis with small groups, I am gonna go ahead and choose, yes, this is a group assignment, so I'm gonna check the box. I'm gonna choose the group set I've created called Demo Groups, and then hit Continue. Make sure you choose Select, and I always load this tool in a new tab to give more space to the reading and the annotations. Scroll down, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and publish. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I want to launch this assignment so you can see what it looks like for the small groups. So when I launch it, as the instructor, I have the option to choose between the various groups I've created up here at the top. So maybe I want to see the annotations created by demo group two. I would just select this carrot here and get the drop down and choose demo group two. And then I would see any annotations created by any students and demo group two. Students will only see annotations from their own small group. They will never see annotations from members of other groups. And I think that's an important thing to note. Once you've created the small groups and students have annotated in those small groups, you cannot then open the assignment up to everyone in the course. They will only see the annotations from other members of their group. When I go to grade, I can grade students individually within their group. So let's give this a minute for SpeedGrader to launch. Now I don't have any students who've annotated, but I could just select a specific student. In this case, I'll select myself. I haven't done the job, have not been a great student, um, so I'd give myself a zero since I've done no annotations. 
However, if I had done any annotations, I would see my annotations appear here. I could read them and give myself a grade. So that's how to add a hypothesis enabled assignment using small groups in Canvas. If you have any questions, reach out to our success team here at success at hypothesis.is and we are happy to help.